All right, guys, I just want to go over how to get started on Mini Project 4. Uh, so first thing, just make a mental note that you need four gradients and two patterns. Then you can go ahead and delete this layer. All right, next thing I want to do is I'm going to zoom a little bit closer. Grab the magic wand tool and click on one of the black outlines. All right, then I want to uh, make sure that I go Command J. Now, by the way, you should have contiguous off for the magic wand tool when I do this and sample all layers on. So I'm going to go Command J. That's going to jump that to a new layer. I'm going to double click that. This will be my top layer. Or you could also call it outline. So I'll call it top outline. Uh, the background layer, I'm just going to fill with white. So notice if I click on the defaults, black and white, uh, I know that command is associated with the background because it's on the right hand side. Okay, so I go command, make sure I'm on the background layer, command, delete. Okay, so now I can um, go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm on the background layer. I want to add a new layer and figure out what I want that to be. So I'm just going to go, um, let's start with the body. Okay, I'm going to grab my paint bucket, make sure that I come down here and get the color I want. Make sure I have foreground color right up here. And then go ahead and click on this. Now, for this, I have contiguous on and I have use all layers on. I'm just going to click around on his body where I want that color to go. Okay, missed his ear there. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is go down here, add a new layer above that, and this time I'm gonna go um, surfboard. All right, so instead of filling it with a color for the surfboard, I wanna fill it with a pattern. Right. So again, the paint bucket, I got to change the foreground to pattern and I come up here and um, find a pattern I want to use. I'll just go with this pattern right here. Okay. Um, now I want to show you how to fill something with a gradient. So I'm going to click the plus. I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to go shorts. Okay, now in order to fill this with a gradient, I have to select that inside there. Now, I told you that the magic wand tool is very similar to the paint bucket tool, except it doesn't fill. So, what I want to do is take the magic wand tool, go contiguous on, sample all layers and click on those shorts and notice it gets all that except for this interior part which we can deal with later so at this point i go over and grab my gradient tool which is with the paint bucket inside that drawer then i come up here and i pick a gradient that i want to use um, let's go with this one right here and maybe i'll do a diamond so I click and drag. I don't want that. Click and drag this direction. That looks a lot better. So I'm going to go Command D to deselect that. And that would be my shorts. And maybe um, as a part of the shorts, I want to fill that little area with the paint bucket in here. So I'm not going to choose a pattern. I'm going to choose a foreground color. I'm just going to fill that with like a dark gray. So those little areas in there. Okay, and you just keep on building layers. 
Um, so you know how to fill it with a gradient, you know how to fill it with a pattern, and you know how to fill it with a solid fill. Now as far as the water goes, I'm going to go ahead and click a new layer. I'm going to say water. And to get like a division between the sky and the land, I'm sorry, the sky and the water, I'm going to grab a paintbrush. And since the outline is black here, I'm going to go ahead and choose black. I'm going to choose about the same thickness as what I have here. That's too thick. Undo that. Make sure I have a hard edge brush. That's good. All right. So I could just sort of hand draw that area in here. Maybe that over here. Just to separate it. And so now the water part, I'm going to do... Oh, I undid that, so I need to make a new layer. Water. All right, I'm going to do a gradient. So again, I go to my magic wand tool, contiguous sample all layers. So I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to grab the gradient tool under the paint bucket. I'm going to grab a maybe a smooth. I want it to go more up like that. No. I'm going to do a regular gradient, I think. I don't like any of those. Let's try a radial gradient. Yeah, I think I like that. So I'm going to go Command D. Okay, so now it's just a matter of filling with either gradient, pattern, or a solid uh, color. All right, hope that helps. Have a good day. Have a good weekend.